Police say an ongoing dispute over parking may have led to a triple shooting at a condominium complex in Chapel Hill. Good afternoon and thanks for staying with us. Investigators say Dia Barakat, his wife Yusar Muhammad, and her sister Rasan Muhammad Abu Salha were all shot in the head. It happened last night in the 200 block of Summer Walk Circle. The suspect then turned himself into police. WRL's Amanda Lamb is live at the Durham County Courthouse where the suspect appeared in court this morning. Amanda? Bill, Craig Hicks made his first appearance this morning. The courtroom was packed with media. He was very quiet. He answered the judge's questions calmly. He is charged with three counts of first-degree murder for those killings at that Chapel Hill condo last night. Now, Chapel Hill police released a statement today. They said it was a preliminary investigation. They said this was a dispute possibly over parking. But there has been a lot online posted by Hicks, strong anti-religion sentiment. And a lot of people have wondered, is this a hate crime? The Durham DA tells us it's too early to say. Well, I can't even tell you whether or not it was over parking um, or not. Um, and so I certainly can't tell you um, whether or not it's um, religion paid, played any, any part in, 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 the alleged, in the alleged crime. So um, those are things that any and all motives, possible motives, will, will be under investigation. Now, online, Hicks portrays himself as an outspoken atheist against all religions, including Muslims and Christians. And this has fueled speculation that this could have been driven by hate because the victims are Muslim. Now, we're learning more today about Hicks. He was a student, enrolled part-time since 2012 at Durham County Technical Community College. We also understand he was studying to be a paralegal. He was married. And his banner on Facebook today very interesting, ironic. It said, quote, about people of faith, your baseless superstitions keep killing people. We are learning a lot more. We'll have more on Fox 50 at 4 o'clock. Bill, Michelle. All right. Amanda Lamb, live in Durham. Amanda, thank you for that. Now, two of the victims attended Athens Drive High School here in Raleigh. And WRL's Catherine Brown explains how the victims are being remembered. My name is Dia Barakat. I'm a dental student at UNC. 23-year-old Dia Barakat seen here asking for help to fund an upcoming trip to Turkey, where he was to provide free dental care to Syrian refugee children. Family members say this is how he lived his life. Thank you for your support and help. Barakat, his new bride, 21-year-old Yusar Muhammad, and her younger sister, 19-year-old Razan Muhammad Abu Salah, were gunned down at their Chapel Hill apartment complex Tuesday. Family members tell WRAL all three were active in the Muslim community, and they believe they were targeted because of their religion. In a statement, Barakat's brother says, quote, I haven't even begun to fully comprehend what has happened, but I know for sure those three together have done so much we are all proud of. A Facebook page set up this morning to honor their memories showcases lives of service. It already has hundreds of comments of condolence, support, and sorrow. Barakat attended dental school at UNC. Muhammad recently graduated from NC State and was planning to join her husband at UNC in the fall. Abu Salah was a sophomore at NC State, a standout design student. Today, two communities, two families, and countless friends are mourning the senseless act of violence that cut three lives short. That was Catherine Brown reporting. Senator Richard Burr released a statement over the triple shooting saying, I have faith that law enforcement will assemble the facts and ensure that justice is carried out on behalf of those murdered. Members of the American Muslim community have condemned the murder of three Americans. The um, Amodea Muslims community, one of America's oldest Muslim communities, grieves to hear about the tragic murder of three American Muslims in North Carolina. In the current climate of anti-Muslim sentiment, we need to talk about what is causing such hatred and figure out 
how to dispel it. That was a, a statement from that group. Our coverage of the Chapel Hill killings continues tonight on our evening news. Our team of reporters are working to learn more about the victims and the suspect. They will have new information tonight on our news starting at 4 o'clock on Fox 50. Also, the executive director of the Council on American Islamic Relations is headed to Chapel Hill, and we hope to speak with him more on his visit tonight at 530.